Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the casual dress. This is a variation of the original fly. Uh, the fly was invented by Ernest Ross Bauer of Oregon in the 1960s, and it can imitate a mayfly, a caddisfly, or a stonefly, and it's suggested to be tied in sizes 8 through 14. So the hook we have in the vise is a TMC 5263. That's their three extra long streamer hook. And our thread is going to be Danville's 70 denier in black. And we'll get our thread started about two eye lengths behind the hook eye, right back towards the bend. First material today for the tail is just going to be some muskrat fur. And we want these nice long guard hairs. So we'll pick a clump of those out. You can also see it's got a lot of gray underfur. That gray underfur we're going to save, that's going to form the body of the fly. So we'll pull that out and just set it aside. And we want this to be probably three quarters of a hook shank in length, I think is about right. See how that looks. That looks good. Wrap forward to our initial tie-in point, cut off our excess material. Now back to the base of the tail, and we'll take some of that gray underfur and form a noodle on the thread. And wrap that forward. Just a bit more. Now for the collar of the fly, we're going to use a natural pine squirrel zonker. There we go. And we'll see if we can move that just a little bit. Probably get rid of them on the bottom. We'll spin that up. And it's only going to take three turns or so to get the collar we're looking for. There, now that we've kind of stroked that back with our fingers. And that's good. Well, capture the rest of that. Got our excess. That looks nice and even. And to add to that collar is just going to be a feather from a Hungarian partridge. A well used Hungarian partridge and we're going to tie it in by the tip. It's only going to be about two turns worth. Just enough to add a little bit of movement to the fly and just some regular dubbing wax. Make sure we get a good purchase on this tip. A good tight turn so that you don't pull it out. Take our hackle pliers. Can't use too much force here. These feathers are really delicate. And we'll preen that back. There's one turn, two, that's good. Neaten that up a little bit, force that collar back. And the last material is just going to be some squirrel zonker, pine squirrel zonker in black. Uh, originally it was a black ostrich plume, but I think this adds uh, a bit more movement to the fly and still gives you that nice dressy black collar. Well, you need enough of this material to get 
maybe two wraps. Probably a bit more than we need, but we'll fix that. So again, a dubbing loop. I might have made that too small. We'll try it. A little bit of sticky wax to help hold it on. There we go. Spin that up. And wrap our collar. I'm going to help it back a little bit. Whoa. Just barely saved that. And form a small head, pull the material back. Get our whip finish tool out. Four or five turn whip finish. See it or not, got our thread. And we'll add a little head cement. Let me use a bodkin for this, we don't make a mess. There, our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.